Hi everyone, Abstract Tiger here. Um, I'm Oops Number One. Oops Number Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me clarify. <laughs> we uh, did an entire hour reaction to the Kenobi trailer, as you know, this title, uh, wherever it is on YouTube. Probably I here. don't know somewhere on the screen unless you're watching this full screen then i'm just pointing to the edge of your device of whatever and you know <sighs> we had some technical difficulties none of the hour got recorded so um technically this is not a first time reaction anymore nope however um, uh i still feel like we should be able to just give thoughts on the on it just briefly yes uh anyways so we're going to watch it again i wanted to watch it a third time but uh, you know we got sidetracked talking about tom baker <laughs> yeah um well, and it, it, a lot half, of different things <laughs> half the video was us just talking about tangents yes so it's a, probably a good thing because this will be more streamlined but yes. it takes away the authenticity of the video, yeah, so we apologize. But, you know, this is why we're, I'm being saying this up front. You know, yeah. Things happen. I'm human. Last you I checked. <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh, no, you know. uh, what? What? Hmm? No, I don't know, apparently. <laughs> human. Humani. You let your females wear clothes? How repulsive. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong universe. Moving on. <laughs> Kenobi trailer. Let's watch this for a third time. And mm -hmm. be... I still enjoy it. So, you know, I don't care. I'm going to watch it again. All right. Bay. probably see something that I missed the first time around again, too, so... It's a very strong possibility. The fight is yeah. done. Okay. We lost. Defeated Obi-Wan just sounds like he's about to cry, doesn't it? <laughs> Stay hidden. I am curious to see where this planet is. It this looks place. like Camino. See, I don't think it's Camino. It could not be. I mean, there are Jedi multiple water planets around. So. See, I don't know if it's a water planet. I think they're just like in an ocean somewhere. Yeah. Leaves a trail. Not on Tatooine. <laughs> the Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. See, I'm getting the vibe that that is the same city that Finnick Shan uh, first encountered the Bad Batch. With all the neon. Yeah, possibly. Ooh. Is that a D44 pistol I just saw? Oh, I just noticed the eye in Kenobi is his saber. Yeah. Nice. I see. I, I caught something and I didn't see before. A <laughs> couple of things, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah. Quick thoughts, recap what I had what lost. Um, I am very interested in seeing this. Uh, um, I had discussed about... Um, the line delivery by Ewan McGregor, mm -hmm. whether how he's going to tie it in with older Obi Wan, Alec McGinn, getting closer to Alec Guinness's, yeah. or Sir Alec Guinness. Let me get proper here. Mm -hmm. um, no more that. I don't know. It's not gravelly, but it's a little bit deeper. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, 
Uh, we, we, we saw, I think, is, is the sixth brother. Yep. And we think she's the second sister from Fallen Order. Yep. Um, and then an Utapauian inquisitor of somehow, yes. some form or fashion. Um, your thoughts? It's the Grand Inquisitor. I'm not really sure because the head markings are a little different. And his face is a little bit more rounder. Maybe he's a half-breed. See, the, the I don't know. It's the same chest plate. It's the it's 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 the lightsaber that's doing it for me. It, or he's a previous Grand Inquisitor, one that was before, um, uh, um, the one that was in Rebels, right? That could be a, another possibility. That's a possibility. And they just like, um. I say, almost like Dread Pirate Roberts, the armor, <laughs> providing it's not too damaged. I feel like retiring. It's your turn. <laughs> um, no, it would be more like somebody retired me from life. The armor is now <laughs> yours, <laughs> providing it's not too damaged. <laughs> I was thinking about, this is our third watching, so I've had plenty of time to think about it. Um, <laughs> the eyes aren't yellow. Right. And that was one of the things about the Grand Inquisitor that sticks out the most. Well, is, is yeah. Well, the yellow eyes. And they're the more, uh, not just yellow eyes, they're the Sith eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, granted, in that shot there, it looks like his eyes are just like in um, like a shadow. So, and that's the only time we see it in uh, the trailer. Right. So it may be in like a more full on, like his light, his face is lit up a little bit more. We'll actually uh, see what his eyes are colored. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I think I like my theory better. It's a previous Grand Inquisitor, the one that we saw, mm. um, than the one that was in Rebels. Um, And, and what really drove me to that line of thinking, uh, it's not just because of the time time frame where we're at. I mm -hmm. think it's probably about five to six years-esque at this speculating uh, after the rise of, after the Order 66. Okay. So Empire's already fully um, got their got its hand on the galaxy yeah. um emperor palpatine has you know figured out that you know vader can't be in more than one spot at the same time <laughs> so yeah. he insti institutes this inquisitus group um the inquisitus i call it you know until yeah. we get a more canon name which i liken it to you know the uh you know the spanish inquisition you know yeah, I think that's so, what it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, join us or die for all the force wielders yeah. that are left over. But give us a fight. We want you to die. <laughs> Some of the well, if attitudes. You, if, yeah. if, if you put up a good enough fight, no. that's when they offer you a position. Yeah. Um, um, anyways, otherwise, they just straight yeah. up. So, you know, there was a storyline that um, we were going to do last year for Sabercon, but we weren't able to because of scheduling and stuff like that that right. involved a previous Inquisitor to the Utapalian one that we saw in Rebels. Right. Um, we were going to have an appearance by someone who was going to be a, the Grand Inquisitor in our video. Yeah. But um, that was just that. So that's kind of where my th well, thinking just kind of jumped to. Is something like that. Is there something canonical saying that the Grand Inquisitor title is passed down, though? Not as of right now. There may be something in comics or some of the books. I don't know. Okay. Um, somebody in the comments can definitely let us know. Please. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I believe we said that there was, what, six episodes? Mm-hmm. 
And my hope is that they are longer than 45 minutes each. Yep. Um, that way they have doesn't have things rushed or things truncated that could have been expounded on. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, because they did your guy dirty in Boba Fett. Yes. Um, and that's the one thing I'm worried about is if that is who I think it is, I don't want one and done gone. Yeah. But they put him in the trailer for the whole... <gasps> <laughs> Well, we do know these. If that is the sixth brother, and that if that is the second sister that we see in here, mm-hmm. um, we know they survive at least. Well, I mean, we know that the second sister survives at least until the end of Fallen Order, at least whenever that falls in the timeline. I think this is going to answer that. Yeah. So, um, because she gets killed by Vader. <laughs> For those of you who haven't played the game, yeah. whoopsie. <laughs> oh well, who doesn't get killed by Vader? Luke. <laughs> Even Arch. I was say technically Ahsoka. Ahsoka. She wasn't killed yes. by Vader. She, she was killed kill- by the temple. <laughs> she wasn't killed at all. She was. No. She got. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey by Ezra. Okay, I'm saying <laughs> she was killed and then brought out of. No, she was death. alive because you at the at, I know what you're referring to. Second season finale of Rebels. The 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 thing crashes down, but you know after before the credits really roll, you do see her walking. Just from behind, you see her walking. After her invader fight. Yes. There's the scene of a Vader. He's limping out, going towards his ship. Yeah. You see Morai fly above, and then it cuts to a like a zooming out. And then it's a triangle door. Ahsoka's walking into it, and then it like zooms out, and then you see the crew of the Ghost. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. Because <laughs> I think it's gonna be one of those times where I text you and I say, "You lost your mind." That's a Mandela effect. <laughs> because that was one of the things that bothered Ezra so much was Ahsoka. He thought. I mean, granted, there is a difference between what Ezra sees and what the audience sees. You're not wrong, and there is that disconnect. <laughs> what Ezra sees doesn't necessarily. Include everything that the audience sees. Fair enough. So, so as the audience, we get these little snippets. Yes, Vader's alive. We know that. And yes, yeah, so Soka's alive. They don't know that. Okay. They think it exploded. You know, sure, Vader's strong enough to get it. You know, Vader probably survived. But mm-hmm. anybody else? No. We know that Maul escaped because he left before it exploded. Right. In one of the Inquisitor ships. Stole. Yeah. <laughs> one of the Inquisitor ships. <laughs> because there was... Three... I don't know if... I would say stole because if the person who owned it okay. died... He... He... Reacquired. Yeah. He acquired okay. it. <laughs> yes, their owners died. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Took possession of. Yes. Uh, in the most Sith way ever. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyways. Um, I'm very much looking forward to Obi-Wan. Yeah. I am May 25th. May 25th. Seems like a long way away at this point, but really, in actuality, not so much. Because... As time, as you get older, for some reason, time gets shorter and squishes more. And like when you're mm-hmm. a child and it seemed like summer lasted forever before you had to go back to school. Yeah. And school lasted for a lot longer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry, my brain jumped to Phineas and Ferb there. Anyways, 
Any okay. So, um, I am curious though, um, just to kind of see more of the specific story details that they're going to put into this. Yes. I mean, I can I can speculate, or regurgitate what I speculated, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm right. I'm probably wrong, but. Um, I did joke that, you know, it's just <laughs> six episodes of Obi-Wan just sitting there watching Luke and the Binoc- <laughs> I was, yeah. And then everything else is going on around him and it's just, just like, mm. <laughs> but no, um, obviously there is going to be some sort of conflict because Vader shows up. Yeah. Um, at some point, we did hear his breathing there at the end of the trailer. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking. I'm kind of interested to see, you know, how they. Um, I mean, how they handle storyline wise. I mean, I did say that it did bother me that Obi Wan was going to leave Tatooine uh, briefly or for a little while, but. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm still kind of eh. Yeah. Because I think he should be there. But granted, well, you know, based on our discussion before, I can understand. Yeah. I can see, you know, if Bail Organa says, I need your help with something. My daughter got kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. Um. So if that's what it is, if not, yeah. I mean, hey, um, it I mean, obviously something does happen where the Inquisitors kind of catches wind that, may, you know, there is a Jedi. They may not know it's specifically Obi-Wan, but there is a Jedi. Right. Somewhere within the Outer Rim, around Tatooine area-esque. Yeah. The, the, the specter of a space where Tatooine is at. Well, actually, you know, it's a good thing we watched this a third time because I noticed something I didn't notice the first two okay. times. It actually shows Obi Wan on that planet with all the neon. Okay, he's hiding behind one of the scene vents um, okay. while someone's shooting at him. But I am intrigued that we did not see a single lightsaber other than the Inquisitors. Yes. Like at and no point did he ignite a lightsaber. So I'm wondering, did he even take his, or is he because not wanting to draw that kind of attention? That's yet. what I'm wondering. You said you think you saw that pistol. I'm sitting here like so uncivilized, but to stay hidden. I don't think that I don't think was... we're gonna see him use a I... blade until the fight with Darth Vader. I don't know. I don't. I think knowing Obi Wan, getting wiser in his years, he's going to probably use a little bit more of the Force mind trickery. Mm-hmm. Um on the weak-minded fools right <laughs> um to do whatever he needs to do and at the very 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 last resort um produce the blade kind of like his little encounter with the two dudes in the cantina where they just pushed and pushed and pushed and he finally he you know they shoved luke out of the way yeah and he drew a gun and then he had to you know yeah Take one of their arms as payment. <laughs> right. Dude, My but... question is, where's Obi Wan's lightsaber? Um, I mean, he has it, and I don't know whether he has it specifically on him, but he still has it. I would imagine. I mean, there's no reason why he wouldn't have it, no, unless he just I'm... specifically did not pack it with him on this trip. That's not what I'm saying. I was under the impression and. This could be just because I'm not remembering it properly because I haven't watched episode four in so long. I thought that was Anakin's lightsaber that he gave to Luke that he was using. No. He did pick up Anakin's saber on their, after their fight in Mustafar and just kind of pocketed it along with his. But no, he had his own one from episode three from, in episode four. He did not use Anakin's. The Skywalker saber is what they're calling it now, but 
He did not. He gave that to Luke. Luke had it. He pro Luke probably left it on the Millennium Falcon. Okay. I was going to say, because... Am I remembering Revenge of the Sith properly? Uh, what lightsaber, what what blade, what color blue. was Obi-Wan's? Blue. They were both blue? Both blue. Okay. I'm looking at a thumbnail in front of us, and, and it looks like Obi-Wan's wielding green. That's why I was ca oh, curious. Oh, okay. I know what you're referring to. That, uh, it's, um... <sighs> because every time I remember seeing Obi-Wan after Revenge of the Sith, it's blue. Right. And he does have blue. And that is blue. It's just when they're paying homage in that thing. And this, the, the thumbnail we're looking at, it's the, uh, the Fix It in Post Scene 38 remake that they did a couple years, three years ago. Back in 2018, I think is what it was. Maybe 20, yeah. Fantastic watch. Go watch that. It was a great, great reimagining of the Vader Obi Wan fight from episode four. I'm not talking about the thumbnail. I'm talking about the one from the Rim of the Sith that's next to it. It looks like he has a green lightsaber with a blue uh, that Anakin's wielding. Oh, oh, okay. It looks like blue on green. I don't see that. I see, if anything, they're both white because it's a little bit far away. But okay. I know they're blue. Both blue. Okay. Okay. So. I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I think I'm misremembering it. That's, that's probably what it is. But I was under the impression that um, as Obi-Wan aged, he got green like Qui-Gon. No, he did not. Okay. He kept his saber from the, uh, from his, you know, the one that he, I guess he got at some point. Probably, you know, um, I don't know, after episode two, I would imagine. Okay. Because I know that him, he had a temporarily a green one that he used to fight with. Uh, against Dooku with yeah and that was one because the whole rescue scene in Geonosis arena yeah they just kind of tossed random sabers to him and Anakin right and they were just yeah okay just da 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 sabers and <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then he tossed the green one to Anakin and Anakin tried to do a wield and then Dooku just owned him anyway so <laughs> yeah <laughs> cut off his arm and force pushed him pushed into the corner him, yes so, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah. and then Yoda. <laughs> Not that Yoda. No, I was looking at the lightsaber. No, okay, yes, the Yoda saber. Yes. Um. Anyways, I uh, don't really have much else I don't either. going on to say about this other than May twenty fifth. Take your time, but hurry. <laughs> I don't want it to be here and then just over. Right. Um. I am looking forward to seeing the story. Uh, whenever I first heard that they were doing, I know, Obi Wan, I was like, I don't really need that. That was a lot of people's reaction. Yeah, I don't really want need this. I don't know if I want this. Um, and knowing the interesting reviews, I'm just going to leave it at that. That Book of Boba Fett got. I'm sure that they are really con tightening up things with uh, oh. all this. Um, so. Um, well, so the, the, the thing about it is Book of Boba Fett was done by Robert Rodriguez. And not all of it. I well, mean, he, was, he, he, was he was producer. He was, he was okay, the yeah. showrunner yeah, okay. for that show. Okay. It was Dave Filoni, John Favreau, and Robert Rodriguez. Obi-Wan is being done by Deborah Chow, which... Yes. Arguably, she, she did the two, yeah, two best episodes of Mandalorian season one, according to most people. Okay. Um, uh, I don't. I, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with that, but because of what she did in Mandalorian season one, and the, I think she had one episode in season two, uh, is the reason why they gave her Obi Wan. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Um. So I think it's going would, to be a very I'm, tight I would knit really story. like to also see Bryce da Dallas Howard also maybe get an episode or two. An episode or two yeah. would be nice. But I the loved way they're... her episode in that, you know, it was basically a Mandalorian episode. Yeah. And in, you know, in Book of Boba Fett, but you know, it was a fantastic episode. Yeah. Um but at any rate, um 
we will be reacting to that so be looking towards that whenever that comes out so yeah um until the next video i don't really have anything else to say <laughs> and so we're gonna I'm just shut her down right here i tell you what okay. i feel you did it that time i am so disappointed in myself i am so sorry i apologize <laughs> <laughs> this is me being tired and loopy right now <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so until then uh be sure to like subscribe we are trying to hit one no 500 <laughs> subscribers by the end of the year so please if you have not subscribed please do that help us on that goal um and we will see you next time bye bye and be blessed everyone <laughs>